In the last video, we derived the formula for projections of vectors onto a one-dimensional subspace. In particular, we arrived at this equation if we choose the dot product as the inner product. Here, x is a d-dimensional vector, and b is the basis vector that spans that one-dimensional subspace that we want to project x onto. In this video, we are going to look at an example. Assume our vector b that spans our one-dimensional subspace is the vector 2, 1, and the vector x we want to project onto that subspace is given by 1, 2. Let's quickly draw this. So x is the vector 1, 2. So x is living over here. And the vector b is going to be the vector 2, 1. And so this is b. And b spanning our subspace means that our subspace u is going to extend along this line. So now we're interested in computing the orthogonal projection of x onto u. So using now this equation here, we get so x transpose times b is 2 plus 2. And now we divide by the squared norm of b. So the length of b is uh, 2 squared plus 1 squared square root. So overall, we get the squared norm to be 5. And then times b will get us to 2, 1. So overall, 4 over 5 times the vector 2, 1. This means that our orthogonal projection is 4 over 5 times the vector b. That means if we take 4 fifths of this vector, then we will get to our orthogonal projection. So this point here is now pi u of x, so the orthogonal projection of x onto u. And the length of this segment is 4 fifth times the length of b. We've gone through orthogonal projections onto one-dimensional subspaces. In the next video, we're going to look at orthogonal projections onto higher-dimensional subspaces.